Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice pink rhubarb tonic water. Very refreshing indeed. So welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we started a new prison small map with default funds of 30,000 generic units of currency. And we then planned off this. So this is what we are proposing for the very first draft and for the first build. We have entrance way right in the middle. We'll probably have to shift the light. We obviously have a wall around the outside that is not large enough. So the contraband can't be flung over. So we will have a problem with that. Although we're going to probably make some money off that as well because of the warden that we have chosen. Down the uh, north, uh, sorry, down the north, up the north and down the south, we have on the right-hand side here the staff areas. So things like the staff canteen, staff room storage area we also have the offices as well and then we have other areas for like say staff members to go this then funnels out from the front of the reception into things like the yard and the two canteens etc and then over to the left hand side which we have our our nursery area as well as the family cells and also what we may end up going with when it comes to the standard cell block design but i haven't yet nailed down that one so we'll see how that one goes Either way, in this episode, we're going to do some building. So over to reports, over to grants, we're going to go for the basic detention center, administration center, and that's pretty much all we can get for the time being. Over to our walls and doors, and then to a fence grass, and then we're going to place a fence grass all the way around the outside. So obviously standard building here. And that'll go to there along and job done. We're going to go to staff and to workmen and go one, two, three, four. We're going to get another four workers, speed up to max speed and let them crack on with that. We also need to do some foundations for, well, we need to get things like the basic detention centre and administration centre. Administration centre is the one I want to go for first. So that requires offices, warden, finance, and accountant. Once we've got finance, we can then get loans and that sort of thing. So I'm going to go with the administration center first. In terms of the foundations, we've got concrete or brick. We also have more options for things like the medium sec and the white walls, etc. We are going to go straight with default. Everything is default for the time being. So this is for... Well, actually, just pause it for a moment. We're going to build that... And then we're going to build that. And this is going to be our detention centre. Sorry, no, this is going to be our administration centre. And the entrance here as well. So walls and doors over to doors there. We're going to go with a large jail door, which will go on the front, similar to the other one there as well. So that is, as I said, the reception as well as the administration centre. And we're just going to rush to try and get this done uh, as soon as possible. If you've not seen other series before, what we tend to do is, like say, plan it off, which is what we've done. And then go ahead and build all of the minimum requirements so we're not going to get prisoners sooner rather than later it's a case of we build this and get it done and as much as we can anyway get the funds from things like the grants or loans or whatever and get it up to a reasonable standard before getting prisoners in i don't like the chaos of just getting prisoners straight away and then you're sort of scrambling to try and manage everything so yeah there you go just going to remove all of the planning there as well we can see we've got a, it says a yard that's now been ticked that means that this is now behind a wall and a door so we know that we've got some basic measure of security okay we also have auto light on which is sometimes a hindrance sometimes <laughs> help but we are going to go over to our walls and doors and then brick wall and we're going to put in the brick wall across and that will be fine for there and i want to make at least two of these offices so i'm just going to make probably these two and there we go we'll unpause that we're going to go over to our uh, doors section and then to a staff door these could technically just be a standard door if necessary but I haven't yet decided. So those are now in. Um, I know we've got the walkway that goes around. We could probably make this storage bigger if we need to. And, you know, maybe have that door just go in here. But I haven't yet decided. Over to the rooms then and to our office. We're going to clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy and get that sorted. Over to our objects. And then we have our office chairs, which I'm going to place in, say, there and there. And obviously these are going to be a sort of mirror of uh, one another we'll then have our office desk which will go in here and here 
followed by a filing cabinet that goes on the top corner. There we go. And then if we wanted to, we can clone it and move down. Don't particularly need to do that, but there you go. These offices are now uh, correct, and we've got the little ticky box and said, yeah, administration center, build two offices, is now correct. We will then hire a warden, so we'll place them in there, which decides to then immediately go to the office on the other side, on the left-hand side, because they're very picky that way. Over to bureaucracy, we're going to unlock our finance, and that's going to take six hours to do after that we'll get an accountant which means that that is uh, pretty much sorted and then we can go ahead and get other uh, other grants if necessary um, one thing I didn't cover in the previous previous episode is these sort of uh, walkways here this will be fully fully fenced off these will be doors this will be outside and then we'll have a footbridge that goes over the top so yeah that's the intention i don't think we can build it that way i think it'll have to be this way so we'll have to see how it goes also we'll have a similar thing on this side so i'm going to go ahead and just redesign that mm, over the pathways here one two three four five six seven eight so it's from there onwards and I think if that's about right, it is. So this is going to be our objects. They'll run down there. We'll remove that, and then we'll put the doors in. So again, similar thing to here. In fact, it's the identical. Assuming it even works that way, we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Over to our basic detention center then. Ten grand. We need to build a holding cell, which we'll probably build and then delete. We need to build a shower, a kitchen canteen, hire two guards and two cooks. Now, the cooks and the canteens and the kitchens are available but we'll have to build maybe this section here and then either the north or south section most likely we'll build this one just because we can but that's going to require a, a bit of money but we're going to go with the staff first and get an accountant we'll hire that accountant and there is one of our grants done with that grant done we can now go for a long-term investment the reason i pick long term is because it takes a lot longer than the short term but we are going to go over to bureaucracy and go for a bank loan and extra grant. Uh, specifically, the extra grant is the one I want them to research first, which is uh, not happening. I pick up the grant and then the bank loan, and it's good for the bank loan first. Brilliant. Um, I can stop it, however. You just right-click on that. And um, it doesn't actually cancel it. Sorry, it, it, it just pauses it, basically. The money is uh, still there, as far as I can tell. It doesn't say I have to redo it. So there you are. Uh, 34 grand. We're still making money, actually, because, well, you just do when you start. If I was to build this, that would be 8 grand grand plus a little bit of change well we might as well go ahead and do that so i'll place that in there this does require an entrance i'm gonna have to go for hmm now this is the question what entrance do i want this brick wall here where we've got our entrance planned this will be a double door of some kind but this is not just for staff it's also for visitors as well so the door that goes along here really has to be Either you re realistically something secure, or just open it to anybody, like a staff door. Because visitor door, guards and staff may also use the door, but not prisoners. Actually, that's probably probably what we'll have then. Um, we'll do that then. Okay, we'll have that in. Uh, these are requiring an entrance way, so I think what we'll do is put an entrance maybe here and here. Or, what'll happen is that it'll automatically generate the whole thing anyway because we've put that door in and I don't need to worry about it. That's handy. Okay, we're going to go over to our rooms and then to our canteen. We're going to place the canteen in here. Kitchen, similar thing in here. Actually, what I'll do is canteen. I will extend that like so. And then we're going to put the walls in. So, brick wall, that'll run across, down, across. Uh, the kitchen, probably that, is reasonable. Yep, and then we can have the double door section in there that we normally have. Okay, so, went for funds. Extra grant is approved. We're going to research the bank loan again. Go over to our... Just check there. No, it didn't... Uh... Class as a transaction. Good. Uh, Short-term investment. There we go. So it actually costs us money to pick these up. <laughs> so we do want to uh, be a bit more frugal there. And why is that wall not completed? Is it because I... 
Uh, I think I made a right click there to stop it. So there's all that in. Um, each of these requires something. Obviously, there's no lighting in here. I understand that that is the case. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> the lighting is something that I will place in at some point in the future, same as the power. This is all about going through the grants and building as much as we can with the funds available within, you know, reasonable means. This is not wholly accurate at all, but it isn't meant to be. Back over to our objects then, and we need to place a fridge and a sink. The sinks will, well, the fridges will go, maybe, you can put them, like, three abreast there, but I think one, two, three, four, four, four of those is probably reasonable. Okay, I'm going to place it there, followed by a sink at the back, like, one, two, three. I can place three in if I need to. Don't think I need three. So I'm going to place that one there. So that'll be technically a kitchen done. For the canteen then, how are we going to do this? Let's assume that I'm going to have an entrance way there and an entrance way there. Why would I assume that? Do we need two entrance ways? I don't think we do. It's a 16, so actually we can have a, there's a middle to this. 6 and 6. Yes. Okay, what sort of things can we have in here? So maybe if we put the entrance in here, we have our 4x3s along here. That fits in very nicely. 4x3. So, 8. Is that 4, 8, 16, 32. It's reasonable. <coughs> it's reasonable. Consider we've got this size as well. It's certainly reasonable for just having these cells. <laughs> It's more than uh, big enough. Okay, that's what we're going to go with. So over to our table. And one table. One bench. Hang on a minute. Right. Table. One of. Bench. There we go. <laughs> I definitely clicked on it. Just, uh... It's, it failed to work. It's failed to agree that uh, I'd registered it. Or rather, it uh, failed to register. And we didn't agree on it. Okay, so there is now a yard, a kitchen, and a canteen. We need a holding cell, a shower, and at least two guards and two cooks. So, how are we going to do that? Well, firstly, what I'm going to do is have this is this reception. I don't get any money for building this, but it will be remiss of me not to build it. So there is our entrance area. Uh, so you need an office desk, you need a table. The difference is, and I can't put a table there, and I can't put tables here. Um, table small then. Could put tables there and there. You could just use a large table then. That'll do. Table's either side. Reception is now in. So... What I'm going to do is build a shower and a holding cell. Holding cell is quite simple. Over to our rooms, holding cell. Remove this, designate it as a holding cell. It needs to be enclosed. Go to doors, jail door. That'll go in there. And that requires a toilet and a bench. This is just off memory. Yeah, that should be done. For a shower room then. We'll place it in here. You need a shower head. <laughs> it's uh, quite simple. Staffing wise. Two guards, two cooks. Grant's done. That's our ten grand for the grant completion. Basic detention centre and administration centre is now complete. Okay. What have we got next? Well, we've got cell block A. Raise prisoner capacity to 15. Um, we can't really do that with these ones. I'm going to stay away from that one. We've got staff well-being initiative. Build a staff room. Have five guards. The problem I have at this stage is that I've got two guards and two chefs on uh, on staff. Each of the guards costs 500 and it's 100 uh, a day to keep them. So if I sack them now... And get them back within five days. I've actually lost money. 
Is that right? Or is it the other way around? My brain fills. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if I sack them now and then pick them up again, it's not going to work out. After five days, though, yeah, it's all right. For the cooks, similar thing. So I could sack them and then pick them up in, say, 10, 12 days, however long it is. But I don't know because we're building very quickly. I'm going to keep them on staff for the time being. We have security procedure certification on. We need to hire a security chief. Hire 10 guards. Not going to do that one. Uh, moving on. Visitation rights. Not much money in that one. Uh, prison maintenance. Unlock maintenance through bureaucracy. Unlock cleaning. Uh, and hire gardeners and get up. Yeah, I think, you know what? Prison maintenance is not a terrible one because it requires more officers. And, well, we can build these officers. So over once again to our office buildings. And I'm going to... I'm going to build the lot, to be honest, all of these offices. I don't think it's unreasonable. And the, the money's... Well, I'm going, to put the, I'm going to put the walls in. I'm not going to build all of the offices, I don't think. Um, but anyway, yeah, offices. We'll do clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. We'll go over to objects and get the chairs in. There's the chairs. We're going to check out the office desks, which will go in there and in there. And then, obviously, the, the office uh, filing cabinet will go there and there. So, staff-wise, we haven't got them unlocked. So, I'm going to unlock maintenance with the warden. I'm also going to unlock health and um, also security as well. So, that's a little bit of money, but all of this will come into play later on, and it's only 500. We're actually not losing any money at the moment because of the daily cash flow. So, it's not actually too much of a problem, is it? Over to max speed and wait for them to crack on. Naturally, all of this is in the dark, I am aware. There's another notebook page. You see there's all these notebook pages, which I did unlock. I think it's just because it's uh, not tied to the cloud or whatever. It uh, never was never shown uh, when I reinstalled it, which is a shame. Over to here, and we're going to dismantle the bench. We're going to dismantle the toilet. We're also going to do the same thing for the shower. Over to rooms, get rid of that room, get rid of that room. And then, oh, also that door can be dismantled as well. And then finally, the canteen can then be expanded to here. So, we need to unlock the uh, maintenance through bureaucracy, which we have done. We'll then hire a foreman, which is now in. So, there we go. We need to hire a foreman. We need to unlock groundskeeping and also uh, cleaning as well. So, each of those is two grand. So, that is uh, two, four, it's 2,500 generic units of currency to unlock so far plus the form and that is 3500 plus the janitors and gardener which i think are 500 or a grand each so i think this was a was a 10 grand advance payment followed by a five grand so we'll come out we'll come out on top but it's not going to be a huge amount of money but at least is it is some amount of money but as you can see, we are now losing 200 generic units of currency per day. I am going to get a bank loan, but it's only 250. Uh, sorry, no, it's only 50. But the reason I want that is to increase our credit rating. As the credit rating goes up, obviously it means we can... Uh, yeah, means we can then get a loan out if we really, really want to. So our maximum loan is, at the moment, 2,500. Current bank loan is... Uh, only 500, but our credit rating is going up. You can see it started at 1.0, it's now 1.4, and increasing to 1.5. There you go. So that's ticking up, which is nice. Good. The long-term investment is on 84 hours, plus a bit of change. And short-term investment will be done in the next 8 hours. In terms of more money, we want to go for a gardener, one of, and two janitors. Uh, both of these are 500 apiece, and then it, that's our... Uh, grant completion permit, so that's job done as well. We now have uh, inmate health and well-being, which I will pick up. You need to build a medical ward, hire two doctors, and have a psychologist. So this is where we need to start making some decisions. Where do I want the medical ward? Um, in the centre it seems reasonable, but over here seems like a better idea. Because I'm going to have security and stuff around these areas. I'm still not too sure what this room's going to be. Let's let's maybe have a little think about it. So in terms of rooms, I want a kennel and I want a security room. We don't have to have CCTV because the fog of war is off. I know some people are not too happy with that. I think it's a better game with it on. Or it can be. It can be a better game with it on. But... 
it also is terrible to look at. Like, you've got all these things moving around. Yes, you can't see what's going on. That's probably better for, like, accuracy. But at the same time, this just aids invisibility. I say that as we're in the dark with no lighting. So, you know, take what I say with a pinch of salt. Okay, so over this side, let me go ahead and go for objects. And say go for a 5x5. Five five. That is going to be our um, our power block. So that's power and water. That's where it'll come from. That'll power the full prison, or at least this thing here. There's not going to be much power in it. Over the walls, we're going to reduce that. So this is already differently sized. There's your power. What I'll do is have mm, water there. And I can have connections and switches and stuff in there. That's good. Okay. In here, then, we want a kennel. I think kennel would be nice. Reasonable. Let me unpause it while we talk. Kennel is a 5x5. Five five, but I want kennel, gap, gap, kennel. So the wall will be that size. Okay. So that's going to be the kennel. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Maybe that. So the kennel... Is in here. Oh no. No, 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 no. Because I think what is included. Let's go to expanding here. Um, can we search? Yes. Dog balls are in. Yes. Holds water and food for tired dogs. Increases the stamina by a small amount. So we want to make sure that the dogs have the dog ball in. Which means that we need to make this a little bit larger. So that size. Because it's going to be. Uh, for our objects. Kennel, followed by dog ball. And be kennel dog ball there. So we can make it a little bit shorter. That That's reasonable. Okay. So this will be our kennel. And then most likely our security room. Because all we need in the security room is a phone tap and... Uh, what is it? Let's go to utilities. It is a... Don't need CCTV. We need a dog control system. We do need a phone tap. Uh, so that is probably reasonable for the security room, although I think security may be a, may be a 4 by something size. Security is minimum size 4 by 4 that is then forced our hand then. So you know what that is going to be security. Okay, next to security we will have our morgue, I think, and our, um, our infirmary. So this is where it's going to be, potentially. And that means then that we have... Hmm. I'm thinking, do I maybe earmark one bit for... I keep pausing it when we should be running it to get these grants done. Do I build a section for the infirmary and morgue and then leave the other area knowing that that's where we can have armed guards if need be? It's an option. Let's go ahead. Go to object. I keep pausing it. Stop pausing it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, if that was beds, and that was beds, don't need it that size. Beds there. So, one, two, three, four, five beds. Ten beds in total. The wall comes down. That opens up to here, which is the morgue. So, that's the morgue there. Like that. Doors. Hmm. I do add like a metal detector in here. Do I... Do that then. And have maybe the beds like that. They're all beds there. Beds there. Metal detector there. So they have to go that way. That's not too bad. And then the door in here can go there. Because that's your staff only anyway. Okay. I don't mind that. And then this can be a bigger security room or whatever it happens to need. Whatever we need. Whatever we're lacking really. We could even have holding cells or solitary or anything over here. That's not a bad idea, actually. Maybe this is solitary, that is armory. Let's go with it. I'm going to pause it for a moment while I check on our 
and grants here. Our short-term investment has been completed. We're going to go with... What are we going to go with? Security procedure certification we're going to go for at some point. <clears throat> mm. Staff well-being initiative. Build a staff room. Get five guards. Okay. So, let's... Foundation. Building brick. And... Here we go. And that's now in. This will be a staff door. Technically, only really guards will go in here. Oh no, no, we have the infirmary, so that's fine. There you are. Right. So that's inmate health and well-being. Staff well-being initiative. Uh, staff room will be down here. Staff room and canteen. We could have certainly made this more efficient. Put it over to one side. Shrink this down by a couple. Which means the same thing would happen there. We get a bit more space. I'm not going to beat myself over it too much. I might get to sleep tonight at some point. So, uh, this is now in, as far as I can tell. One little bit of foundation. And there we go. Alright. Over to our walls and doors. Brick wall. This will run in. And up, across, down. Other directions are available. And then the... Hmm... Doors. Staff door. Staff door. You might as well just place a standard door on these because they have to have access to it. And even if you have, say, a jail door, you can't have this as, like, staff only anyway. So the, the, all, the, the prisoners will always get into the infirmary because they can always request to get in the infirmary. So you either just give them a free door to go in and metal, do some metal detector stuff or you just have to... Uh, so I've just put up and shut up with it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, you can let them in. Or you put up a... Well, you can have the door so they can freely go in. Or you can have a staff door or higher so they have to request access. Either way, they get access. Infirmary. And... Morg. Uh, reduce that down. Morg slabs. Done. Medical beds. Not going to get too many more. And, oh, psychologist. Didn't unlock, my mistake. Let's go for deployment. <coughs> and intelligence, paroles. Pick all those up. I'll have to get in the office in a bit. Going to wait until... Actually, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to hire them now. And then we'll hire doctors once we've got that one sorted, once we've got the psychologist. Speaking of that, let's get the rooms done over here. So once again, office. Goes in there. Falls and doors, doors. I've actually got any doors in here, I just realised. One, two, three, four. And... One, two. Let's not highlight it properly. Three, four... Five, six. And we're just waiting for... We can say wait for the day to take over, which is done. We need two doctors, which I've got. Psychology, we've now picked up. There's a ten grand payment for the completion of the infirmary. And now we're going to go for cell block A. Okay, I think we will leave it there for now. That's been a nice bit of building. More, th more built than I thought we would ever get. So, that's good. We have three grants on the go. Long-term investment, waiting for funds. Uh, 33 hours to go. Sorry, 34 hours to go. Staff well-being initiative. We need to hire some more guards and build a staff room. Which I'll do the staff can... I'll do the staff canteen. Ooh, look at that. They're really annoyed. So, I need to get those... I didn't think the needs... <clears throat> I didn't think these needs would be here until we got some prisoners, but they are. So I need to build, next episode, the staff canteen and the staff, um, in the staff room. Okay, I can get on with that. I can get on with that. So that's our priority for next episode. Staff canteen, staff needs, get all those fulfilled, etc. 
That'll also get the Staff Wellbeing Initiative done. And then maybe some lighting at some point. <laughs> Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Prison Architect. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.